My name is Ryan Lane, and welcome to my review channel. So for today's movie, I will be reviewing Polite Society, directed by Nita Manzor and starring Priya Kansara, Ritu Arya, and Nimra Bucha. So, this film tells the story of Rhea. She is a martial arts enthusiast who is aspiring to be a stunt woman. She does so in spite of the fact that her classmates, teacher, and even parents tried to dissuade her from pursuing a career otherwise and that she should instead be a doctor. Thankfully, her sister Lena is much more supportive, so much so that she even helps record the videos that she posts of herself doing uh, martial arts to YouTube. Granted, she has to be dragged out of bed kicking and screaming to do so, but, you know, I mean... Uh, Rhea is happy to have the support all the same. Unfortunately, it seems like this support is going to dry up when uh, Lena meets a boy named Rahim during an arranged date. Anyway, not being too happy about this and suspecting that something is off about this arranged date, Rhea sets out to uh, break up the relationship and while also trying to help Lena rediscover her passion for art. And in doing so, she will uh, re uh, require the help of her friends and her kung fu skills. So the performances are all pretty fun to watch. Kansara is fun to watch as an inspiring stunt woman whose uh, faith in her own abilities is shaken by her own sister losing, losing faith in her own. And... And Arya is compelling as a burned-out artist who nevertheless finds time to support her si her sister's passion. The two have great chemistry together and are believable as sisters who fight and argue in equal measures, yet also find time to love each other and support one another's goals all the same. Plus, uh, Kana is fun as a mama's boy who uh, brings a whole new level of you to uh, the mama's boy definition. And N Nimra Bucha is fun as Rahila, a conniving and intimidating mother who m wishes to live vicariously through her son. So the screenplay does a great job of setting up uh, rich uh, characters for the actors to work with, plus with everyone from the primary cast to the secondary cast getting great material to work with. Uh, the conflict never feels inorganic. Every character, you fully understand what each character is going through. And Rio's quest to break up the relationship, it never feels formulaic. And it even manages to sneak in some surprisingly dark plot developments. They're well set up plot developments, but they are dark as hell. Like, I was caught off guard. I was like, okay, so we're going in that direction. Dang! And while there aren't necessarily belly laughs, per se, I was constantly giggling throughout this movie thanks to the charming cast, the witty one-liners, and the whip-fast editing that help enhance the visual gags. Like, at one point, this film manages to mind humor out of a character pressing an elevator button while... Another person eggs her on to, put, to call up the elevator. It's it's that kind of good humor, folks. Some One slight issue, there are some familiar plot points involving Rhea's friend group, plus uh, her desire to get an internship with a famous stunt woman named Eunice. They kind of go where you expect, but thankfully, I mean, you, you don't mind it since the cast is so charming and the humor is so good. Again, I didn't mind, so I don't think you will either. So the kung, so let's get to the uh, meat and potatoes of this film: the action scenes. The action scenes are fun. Like just, I mean, the wire work is on point, and it feels comedically over the top. Like this is a film that exists in a real world where practically anyone and everyone can become a kung fu action star, and it's hilarious. Plus, the choreography is good. The cinematography, it. It does use edits, but 
in a traditional sense, but it never feels over-edited, a la, say, The Woman King or Sizu at times. So that's great right there. Plus, it even manages to use the costumes and the environment to great and even brutal effects sometimes, which I was not expecting for a PG-13 action movie. So, like, there are some moments where I go, it's like, oh, wow. Like, seriously, though, people, glass go into people's bodies and i was like oh wow okay people are going to take actual damage this is no marvel movie folks plus the film even manages to sneak in an homage to the matrix so i mean that's a half star right there i mean yeah what else can i say about that so thanks to hyper stylized action and charming performances i will be giving polite society four out of five stars Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a good rest of your day. If you like this review and would like to see more like it, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. And for today's comment section prompt of the day, what is your favorite kung fu action movie and why?